Hi everyone, it's Joseph, lead product tester here at machine for You. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you one of the common issues most knitter faces while using a KG95 carpet cabbage on their brother KH950i electronic knitting machine. If I may ask you to turn to your garter carriage book, the problem I want to discuss is the cast on issue. So if I ask you to turn to your garter carriage book, this is my garter carriage book, and please turn to page number 13 on this, the page which shows us how to cast on. Right? We can see to cast on using the ERAP method and if we turn to the electronic knitting machine section and you can see for a 950i we would first have to program it as mod 990 then press the M key then press the M key again and then pattern number 901 and press the M key repeatedly until we get the ready light lamp lit. So let's see how this machine currently I have in front of me does this for us. Now I have zoomed in onto the console, electric console of the 950i so I can show you how to program and as you can see the ready lamp, uh, this uh, not the ready lamp, it's the garter carriage sensor lamp is lit which means our garter carriage has Pass the sensor and it's all ready. So let's go back to the console where I'm going to put in, I'm going to program it and see if it passed on or not. And as on page 13 of the book, we're just going to follow. So first we're going to enter mod 990. So first, as it's in the ready state, the green light is on. So we're going to press in 990. And then what's the next step? As you can see in the book, it's M key. So we press M key. And then it asks us to press the M key again. And then what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to, as you can see, the pattern lamp is lit. So we are supposed to put in pattern number 901. So let's put 901. Okay, and then as per the book, we should uh, hit the M key uh, repeatedly until the ready lamp is lit. Okay, so I'm gonna press the M key. Ah, what has happened here? There is an error code. Let's hit it again. No, it's not working. So we have an error code here, but the guard kit manual does not mention anything about the error code. Anyways, I just ignore the error code saying that something must be wrong with the console. My garter carriage must be fine. So what I do is I thread the yarn and I pull 10 needles on each side of zero. And then I turn the counter to one and press the start button and see if it works. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in and show you has it e-wrapped or not. So basically, if we go closer, you can see it's a zigzag pattern. It's more zigzag pattern. It's not an e-wrap. Let me show you what is an e-wrap. One second. I'm going to take a few needles and I'm going to show you manually how an e-wrap uh, e should happen. Let me show you manually what an e-wrap is like. So let's take one of this needle out. Okay. Now I've got a thread here, yarn here. Okay. Um, e-wrap should be like an e-shape, should form like this. Now I want to show you, is this an e-wrap to you? To me this is not an e-wrap. It is more of a plain stock stitch. Let me show you from a different angle. So you can see it's not going 
around the needle in an E-shape. You might say it's my imagination that it's not right. So let's do a 50 row as it is with the error, 901 error. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place a small tassel and comb, turn the counter to 50 rows, and then we're going to do 50 rows and see how it goes. Tassel and comb attached, then we turn it to 50 rows, and switch on. After 50 rows, the garter carriage has stopped. Let me just zoom in to show you. It's, it's zero on the counter. Now let me show you the garment it has produced. If you zoom in, you can see it is just plain knitting. Now, there you go. You can see it's just plain knitting. It's a stock stitch. Let me show you an example of what a garter stitch is. This is a garter stitch. Don't be alarmed if your knitting machine and guard carriage produce something similar. Uh, there is nothing wrong with your knitting machine or guard carriage. It is more to do with the programming of the machine. I'm going to show you how this problem occurred and also the resolution for this problem. Now for the resolution of this cast on problem, we need to have three things handy. A Brother KD95 instruction manual, a Brother KH950i knitting machine instruction manual, and one Mylar sheet, uh, any design. Uh, it's a used Mylar sheet we need. I got all three here with me. A Mylar sheet, any pattern, doesn't have to be any specific, a Carter carriage manual, and a 950i instruction manual. Now I'm going to explain the reason behind this problem. So let's turn to our garter carriage manual. Garter carriage manual. And if I ask you to go to page number 13, the same page, the cast on page, and if we go into the electronic knitting machine section and we can and this is the 950i section we can see to use the garter carriage on this 950i knitting machine we have to put it in mod 990 right and then we have to use pattern 901 now let me ask you to open your 950i instruction book it is page number 55 we want to open on your 950i instruction book so here's my instruction book and it is page number 55 and the heading as it states how to make the pattern card okay so the pattern card reading mode right and if I take you down uh, to here, here you see to read you have to first put 777 and then the next operation you can see so you can see it is also working in the 901 pattern okay so from this we can come to, to a conclusion here that the 950i knitting machine does got stitches and the mylar patterns in the same 990 mode thus no cast on issue in other words the ERAP e issue can only occur in two situations number one the mylar pattern 990 mod memory is full or number two the pattern number 901 is empty well both these situations can be tackled if you follow my following steps. Now I want you to follow these 10 steps and this will resolve the issue for you. Number one, what we are going to do is we are go going to delete the memory of the 990 mode which is done by pressing the 888 
k and then the m k but one thing I want to now if you follow my 10 steps you would be able to resolve this issue step 1 what we are going to do is we are going to delete the memory of the 990 mode which is done by pressing the triple eight key and then the M key. I have zoomed in on to the console. Let's, as you can see, it's showing the error message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it off. The machine is switched off and now I'm going to switch it back on. So the error message is gone, but now I'm going to press eight, eight, eight. So one eight, two eight, three eight. And now I'm going to press the M key. One thing, as you can see, the screen has gone blank. We're going to wait for a beep now. It can take from 30 seconds to two minutes for this beep. Until it beeps again, please do not switch off your machine. It is very important. So we're going to wait for the beep now. There you go. The ready lamp is back. It has beeped. This means all the memory in the 990 mode is cleared. This is the memory where you store your Mylar sheets. It has, uh, one thing I want to clarify, it has not deleted your 555 programs, uh, patterns in the console. They are still there. It, these, this memory is for the extra patterns uh, you get to store in this 950i knitting machine using the mylar sheets so the 555 patterns are still there it's just we have emptied the mylar sheet uh, pattern memory now step two for step two i want you to grab hold of your 950i instruction manual and open page 57 there it is it's the page 57 which shows us the heading reading the pattern cards. So what we are going to do following these steps, we are going to set up the Mylar sheet onto the 950i. Okay, so I want you to follow these two page, page number 57 and 58 to set up the ring and the card holder and the mylar sheet so it's all ready for us so follow these steps step three now as you can see i have set up the mylar sheet okay now for step three i want you to turn to page number 55 of your 950i instruction manual this is the page how to make the pattern card read pattern card reading mode and what we are going to do we are going to fo follow all these instructions and I'm going to focus now on the console so I can go through with them so it's the operation one we're going to do let's just zoom on to the console as you can read operation one is when the ready lamp is lit, we're going to enter 777. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. 777, and then we're going to press the M button, as in operation 2. Okay, it automatically shows us number 901. This means this is the first pattern. What we're going to do is we are going to turn to page number 58 it's the operation 3 we, we're going to push the M key now okay and as you can see it is we just enter the number of pattern cards to be used we're only using one pattern horizontally okay so we're just gonna press 1 and then we're gonna press the M button again push the M button operation 4 okay now it is asking us 
how many pattern cards are we using vertically we only want using one okay so we're going to press one again and then we're going to press the m key again operation five okay it should show a ready light lamp as right here okay now the next step for us is to turn to the next page which is number 59 we're going to turn to page number 59 which is here okay and it is the first step operation number eight we're going to and we're going to press cf now okay and this should run the mylar section and it should read the card okay so i'm going to press the cf button now Now you can see it's all ready. Now our machine is ready to knit garter step, uh, stitches. Okay. Step four. I want you to grab hold of your garter carriage 95 garter carriage book and turn to page number 13. This is the page number 13 and it's the section cast on the eat up section. Okay. Now Let's bring down to this section, electronic knitting machine. I want you to start programming it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do mod 990 and then press M key. Okay, let me show you. Press the M key, then press the, and as you can see, we're going to press the M key again. Okay, the next step and then we need to enter 901 as pattern. So we're going to do is 901. And you can see the next step is press M key repeatedly until ready lamp is lit. Okay. So once more, once more, once more, once more, once more, and it's ready now. Okay. Step five, I want you to turn to page 14 of your guard carriage book. And first step, we're going to move the needles to B position. I'm going to move the needles from each side of zero. So let's use your needle pusher to bring forward 20 needles. From either side. And if you zoom in, you can see it's 20 needles on each side. Step six. We're going to follow the instruction on the same page 14 now to sense the garter carriage on this 950i. So how we're going to do is we're going to gently pick the garter carriage and take it to the this end of the knitting machine, cross this part, and it should lit this lamp. This is the garter carriage lamp. It should lit bright red the garter carriage and move it to the end and then to the end and then back in and place it here now i'm going to show you and as you can see on the console it's lit bright red this is the garter carriage light step seven we're going to follow this diagram and set the levers all to the right side. It's on page 14. So I'm going to turn them to the right side, all of them. And then we're going to turn to the next page, which is page 15. And we're going to turn the row counter clockwise until we get 001. Now we're going to thread the yarn through the garter carriage. And you can tie it to the carriage lock, uh, carriage lock uh, the G clamp underneath. Now we're going to press the start button and wait till the garter carriage stop is on, uh, pass the needles, these needles on the other end. Now grab hold of your short casting comb. Okay. 
and we're going to hem this on this knitting. First, pick this in, pass that, and then let it hang, as you can see. As you can see now, it's now e-wrapping, something I mentioned at the start of the video. Step nine, now we're going to program the console for garter stitch. Let me ask you to turn to page 17 of your KG95 garter carriage book. Okay. And I also want you to grab hold of your Stitch World 1 book. On Stitch World 1 book, page 126, these are all, as you can read, these are the G carriage patterns. The one I'm going to knit is pattern 539. Okay, pattern 539 on page 127. Now I want you to turn to page number 17 of your garter carriage book, and this is the section we're going to follow. We're going to enter mod number 990 first. So 990, then we're going to push the M key. Okay, select all the pattern variation switches to lowercase. As you can see, they are all in lowercase. Select the pattern selector switch to lowercase. And I'll show you, it's here in the lowercase. Then it's asking me to push the M key and then it's push the M key the pattern number lamp lit which means it's asking for the pattern and as you can see in the book I'm going to enter 539 as that's the pattern I desire so 5 3 Nine. Nine. As you can see in the book, next is to push the M key and then push the CF key. Then I push the M key and the ready lamp is lit and then I'm going to push the CF key. Okay. Step 10. I want you to turn to page number 20 of your guard carriage book and it's the first section. You're going to set the levers, so the top two are going to be on the left side and the bottom is going to be on the right side. Let me zoom on, on the garter carriage. Yes, that's much better. So this is on the left, this is on the left and this is on the right. And as you can see in your next picture, we want to set the rows. I want to do 50 rows. So moving clockwise, we're going to set this to 50 rows. 50 rows. Now we are all set to cast on. So when you're ready, push the green key.
see the garter carriage has done its 50 row the counter is 72 0 so the garter carriage has automatically stopped and you can see following the 10 steps we can easily cast on now i'm going to cast off to show you the swatch closely to cast off all we have to do is cut the yarn and run it for one row Now, as you can see the swatch we have knitted this pattern five through nine and it's got a stitch thank you for watching my video for more videos do not forget to subscribe to my channel